Hi there YouTube. I wanted to make a quick demonstration video for my dynamic dropdowns add-on. Um, this is a an updated version because the original version got pulled down by Google and then I had to make some updates. Um, and so these are uh, kind of an updated version of what I built and a quick demonstration of the two ways that you can use this tool with both named ranges and with columns. Um, let's first, let's build one with named ranges. The add-on is dynamic dropdowns and we're gonna go ahead and open up the sidebar. Um, and all you have to do for named ranges is actually take a look at the named ranges that I built here. Um, I have departments.administration, departments.students, and departments.teachers, and you can see those uh, that I have built already. The departments. Dot, this everything that comes before the period in the named range is what my add-on is going to use to actually build these named ranges. So I can just go ahead and just type departments and make sure that I have the cell where I want the drop down to go. And it's gonna build that drop down for you. The very first cell in each named range, teachers, students, administration, that becomes your first column. And directly next to it, the sub columns appear. Now, pretty simple then you can absolutely you know drag these things down yep if I can even get it selected doesn't seem like I can you can absolutely drop uh, drag these down and and use it no matter what it's always going to put the sub column directly next to whatever you change now the second way that I have this built is with columns and we're gonna build this in columns E and F here. Now we're gonna select the sheet is columns. All you have to do is check the name of the sheet and click on the plus and it's gonna go ahead and insert those categories right here and that drop down will appear. Now one thing that this is going to do um, is it's going to build the categories with the names of the, the first cell as the name of the category and then the sub categories will be below. If I update this with world history, I can go back in here, I can change to social studies and I should have that updated list because it's looking for the range. Now that won't work for the original categories. Um, the Once you build the uh, data validation, uh, you're giving it an initial range uh, with which to, to look for and um, it won't work with uh, multiple categories. Now you have a little bit of control in the sidebar. You can actually remove uh, these now and it won't look for those drop downs. It'll stop updating um, on this sheet. So that is an update with some of the, the requests um, that people sent to me and the uh, kind of removing some of the authentication stuff that uh, Google seemed to have problems with. I'm not exactly sure they're uh, publishing documentation is not always as clear as I would like. Um, and I'm gonna put some of the code in my blog post if you would like a custom, you know, to build your own custom implementation of this. Um, and as always, um, I look forward to talking to you in the comments.